Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial where we will learn how to install code blocks to write programming in C or C++ <coughs> or maybe in Fortran. So code blocks, you know, what it, it's a, it's a free C, C++ IDE, you know, which you can use to write program and also you can compile your program into this particular software. So once you log in into www.codeblocks.org you open this site and then you click on the downloads so once you go over the downloads you know you can download the binary release so normally i am a windows user so that is why you know, i'll show you how to install it in windows but you can also you know download the similar you know linux installation files and you can install it or maybe them Mac OS users, you know, you can download from here also. But since I am a Windows user, I'll be downloading the Windows EXE file. Okay. Now, here are uh, multiple options are available. So, the first one is the simple code blocks EXE. That ID, only the ID will be installed. But if you have other compiler already installed, like Borland C++ or GCC, you know, MIN, GW compiler, something like that. So then you can only download this thing and your purpose will be solved. But if you do not have any compiler installed, pre-installed, so I'll suggest to select this particular one, you know, which comes with the ID plus MINGW, uh, this particular compiler. So once you, you know, click on the sourceforge.net, uh, the installation will begin. Okay, so it's a, you know, 79.9, almost 80 MB file. So you can save the file to save it into your desktop or somewhere else. And then, so I already have saved it. So I'm not showing you how to uh, save it. I hope you know that. So here is the program file, that, that .exe file that you need to install. So once you, okay, so once you, try to install it you know basically what it will ask you to installation setup the normal installation setup like you know it will ask you to accept the license agreement then select all you know uh, normally it's some plugins are there but don't worry, worry about it you know the best thing about it it comes with the you know MINGW compiler suite okay so click next and it will ask you for the location and then click install to install into the location okay so it will be installed and once the installation is done so the things got installed into my computer and then just open it by double clicking on the desktop link or you can also you know um, open it from the install location uh, something like this from here also okay so it's up to you Okay, now it has opened. So now I'll uh, show you, you know, how to use this. So basically, you know, before uh, writing any program, first check your settings. Uh, excuse me for this message. This is my firewall message. Okay. So now go to settings and go to your compiler. Okay, and you know, the selected compiler is JNU GCC compiler, which is absolutely fine. But one thing that you need to mention that it is linked with the MINGW, that compiler that already you have installed with this in installation. If you have something different, then you can, you know, select from the compiler from here. Okay, for, for an example, you know, if you have Borland C++ compiler, so you can select Borland C++ and link it to that. But since I assume that you do not have any install installed compiler into your local machine, so, we will select the JNU GCC compiler and then go to the tool chain. So, normally after the installation, you may not find this particular thing is set up. Okay. So, so what you need to do is you need to click the auto detect. Once you click the auto detect, it will automatically detect your compiler, the MINGW path that you already have installed. If, if it doesn't get it, so just you can browse it and then give this part I in case if you have installed in this path okay 
and then the other things will re remain like this you know uh, for example c compiler c++ compiler you link it this is important okay and then debugger and the resource compiler and make program so these are the few things that you have to uh, put it as it is and then click okay so now you can write program in two ways one is you can simply click new file okay and then you can click on file then see your c++ source file you can go okay and i'm just giving you an example with c you can write c++ program also so now click new now click on the file path that you know you'll be uh, you'll be writing your uh, saving your uh, projects so here i'll i'll put it to with hello world hello dot c okay so i'll just show you an example with hello world so you know you can since this is our c file so the extension will be dot c now you save it okay then finish so now you write the write your program just simply write this okay int main remember this doesn't take void main okay so now print f hello world then return zero okay once you save this file then this is the button you can click to build build is nothing but you know it is linking and then compiling and making your all object files what happens over there is you see only this file hello.c is present right so this is the file that we are working with so now as soon as you build it the build process is going on okay so the build finishes with zero errors zero warnings and everything so now you can check you know beside the hello.c there are two files what is the hello.o which is our object file has been also been created after building and then hello.exe so this is the file got created okay so this is the executable file that you will run when you run the program it will run this thing so now this is the button you can click on the run or you can from build also you can run okay so i'm clicking this one okay so once you run it your program will run and then basically you can see here your hello world is printed so you are, you have successfully written a program in c you build it and then you run it execute it okay if you press any key to exit it will execute exit okay so this is the one way that you can write your individual programs now i'll show you one more way to write the programs which is through the projects so in in your workspace you know you can click a new then project okay and then i am creating a empty project click on go so click next so give the project title let's say you know hello okay and the folder that i am i'll be creating this project is into c so and then project name will be hello.cbp this is the code block project and then next okay and then click finish okay so once hello is there you can click new file c c++ file go next c program the file name full path you know under this hello project uh, give the file name hello project dot c okay and then finish so once you finish this one what will happen you have to write the program okay okay here i have written the program is hello dot c you know i have to add the files that already i have written okay so here you know hello project dot c i need to add it over there so then you can see this particular hello project dot c into this so basically you need to save all so what will happen into your uh, mm, uh, 
this thing is right now you know there is one cpp file in your folder that is a project file and then hello project.c that is our program file so now if you build it so see now it's been building you know so you now your mngw32 you know g++ dot exe that compiler has been used with zero errors and warnings okay so now you'll see here you know one bin folder is created and one object folder is created so in under the object folder you will find the dot o file okay and under the bin folder you will find the hello dot exe okay so now you run it okay so now you run it so now your hello world with exclamation mark is got printed so this particular file got executed okay so this is the way that you know you also can write the program now it's up to you uh, you know if you are working in a large project uh, there are there will be multiple multiple files will be involved you will be creating header files linking those into your source code and all this thing so then you know go for the project route but if you are only you know going for the um, learning purpose just writing individual programs then just go for the option 1 which i have shown just writing simple c programs build it compile it and you are done so these are the two ways uh, that you can write c program or c++ program uh, in code blocks thank you for watching this video